All right, Adam Taxon, uh, would you guys like to have a word with Right Side Broadcasting, Broad, Broadcasting Network's massive audience about what you love about Trump? No thanks. No thanks. Oh, wait, wait. How about you? You're, you're sure, seeing, okay. Sure. What are you psyched about in terms of hearing Trump tonight in this very exclusive event? Uh, I'm very happy to be here. I like Trump. I like him a lot. I've liked him from the very beginning. See how old my hat is? That is? That's not the very beginning. Hell, some of us know him from the USFL. <laughs> Like from the early well, 80s. From the beginning of running for president. You knew when he came down that escalator, he was the man. Uh, yep. Cool. What what, what appealed to you? Was it? Uh, did he? Did you even wait until we talked about building the wall, or did you know from the start? No, I did not know from the start. But I liked this message, and I liked how he talked to the people and mm -hmm. not at the people. And you think he doesn't think he's better than the deplorable masses out there? No, no. He's one of the he's one of the people that has their feet on the ground. Uh -huh. As opposed to some of these people that have the feet in the air and the elitist. He's not an elitist. Right. He never has been comfortable in that crowd. He's more comfortable among middle class Americans, Correct. I would say. He's more happy uh, maybe having a cup of coffee at your kitchen table than uh, going to a cocktail party and schmoozing. Yeah. So I, the sense I get, and I'm from Delaware County originally, even though I have a national audience, we have a national audience at RSPN. By the way, we thank our donors very much. I forgot to mention that already. Is that uh, Barbara Streisand might not fit in so well in Delaware County? I doubt it. I doubt it. You know, she's a good singer, but that's about it. She's going to stay with that. I don't even think she's a good singer. I can't stand <laughs> listening to her. And there are liberal singers I can't appreciate, but she's not one of them. Um, finally, what do you think of the various scandals, uh, the latest scandals with Hillary, whether it's destroying computers, destruction of emails, uh, the bleach bit? There's, uh, a, there's a woman that lies when she doesn't have to lie, and there's, we're probably saying the tip of the iceberg. Uh, exactly. Um, I feel badly about her health situation, but at the same time, some of the stuff that she's done when she was in the White House is absolutely atrocious. With the stuff that her husband uh, did, you know, and the Benghazi situation where she lied about that, the email situation where she's lied about that, instead of just coming clean with the American people, and now lying and trying to cover up her health situation. So it's just one thing after another. And But this is what we're seeing. You know, they're making more out there that we don't know about. Now, one thing in Pennsylvania and in Delaware County is the Republican establishment here often is accused of not necessarily listening to the people. There is a Republican establishment based in media, different kind of media. There is a city called Media, which is the county seat here in Delaware County. Are your Republican so-called leaders here being responsive enough to the people, getting behind Trump enough? Well, I don't know specifically, but I do think they listen to the people and they'll they'll support whoever the the Republican organization will support who the Republican voters support in Delaware County. You think you can count on them election day? Absolutely. They're I not like the Washington elite. No, they'll Republican. be there. They're, they're, uh, they, they have their pulse on the hand of the, on, the, on the wrist of the people of Delaware County, and they'll follow their lead. They won't they won't go in another direction. And that's why they've been so, so successful over the years. Delaware County has a, a uh, council, and it's all Republican. There's no Democrats. Yeah, they do a good job. My mom's the local Republican well, leader, and she gets out the vote. She really they, works hard. They do, uh, they do a good job listening to the people and following through on what the people want. But they, they're, they're going to be out there for Trump uh, over the next couple of weeks. You're going to see a surge in Delaware County of support for Donald Trump. Even though we have a, a big Democrat uh, numbers in Delaware County now, more so than in the past, but we've seen a lot of those folks, they're blue collar. Right. They're coming over to Trump very, very strong. You go into a blue collar bar or a club or a restaurant and people uh, come up to me and say, oh, I like your hat. Nice. Because I wear it everywhere. And they really, I mean, that's amazing. I've never had people come and say, I like your hat. <laughs> But I get that a lot. So I think we're going to have a good turnout of so strong Republican turnout. I think we're going to get a lot of the independents, people that are having a hard time making up their mind. And I think we're going to get a lot of working uh, Democrats. Great. Thanks for talking to me okay, today. Okay, take care.